if we're not actually doing the work, then it's hard to call ourselves a community organization. It's hard to say that we're actually a credit union that's following the motto of people helping people. So it's gotta be more than talking the boardroom. It's gotta be more than just us sitting around a coffee table saying, impact, opportunity, impact, opportunity. It's actually seeing the work, being able to measure the work, and giving of ourselves to make our community a better place. So we really tried to go out and find organizations that were doing this good work. And there's a lot of great organizations in Fort Wayne, so narrowing it down was very, very difficult. But we did, we narrowed it down to a handful of organizations that we said, we like what they're doing, they're making an impact, and we wanna help them make that impact. I love what I do because not only do I get to do life-saving work every single day for pets, I get to do life-changing work every day for people, and it's huge. We help hundreds of thousands of people a year with hundreds of thousands of meals, and they come in sometimes once and sometimes permanently. It just, it just depends on everybody's situation. We are the emergency shelter for women here in Fort Wayne. Prior to 2021, us opening, if you were a single woman without domestic violence and no children, I don't know where you at. On the streets, sleeping in abandoned buildings, storage units, um, we hear that regularly, storage units. You have to somehow instill love in what you do. Second chances, um, expectations, discipline, but the bottom line is whoever you're working with, whether you're teaching them or coaching them or you're working alongside them, need to know that you care for them, and then it's a little bit more than care, it really is a love. I mean, all year long these kids feel like the sick kid, the cancer kid, the kid with the scar in their arm or their head or whatever, and they go to camp and they're the kid who looks just like everybody else, who has the same story as everybody else, or similar stories. It's life-changing for the kids, it's life-changing for the families, the parents. Um, we, what we do is a really neat thing. The Youth Service Bureau serves vulnerable youth in our community, um, in particular homeless youth. Their basic needs are not being met. Mental health issues are a very big concern to us because they're really struggling. Writing a check sometimes is the easiest thing to do. You know, actually figuring out what the need is and volunteering yourself, that's really where you start making the impact. I think we're insanely lucky to have a partner like Midwest America. Not every nonprofit can say that they have a partner that is truly coming alongside them and looking at big picture and looking at the mission and how these two organizations come together and make something better for their community. Women that come to our shelter have so many just stressors. Groceries and food um, is one that we don't want our women to have to worry about. So having Midwest America fund a year's worth of groceries has been such a blessing. I can remember when Midwest America contacted us and said, we've got this deal. And, and I think it probably even came around as we're opening this up to every Fort Wayne community school, and I was like going, Wayne too? You're gonna to offer it to us too. It's just been a difference maker. All of a sudden, we are able to make things happen for our students that without them would never have been possible. It's not an image thing. They're not doing it for social media purposes. That's a nice side effect, sure, but they're, they're really putting their money where their mouth is. They, they really want to commit to this. Um, and they're proving it by, by showing up and being here in more than one way. It's not just talking about it, it's actually walking it, doing something, right? So providing the grocery bills, taking care of the animals with paying for the vaccines, and the list can go on and on. Each one of our employees are giving 16 hours of volunteer time to actually do the work. How can you not feel good about that? We got to come in today to work for an organization that cares about people, an organization that cares about us. We are accomplishing so much in the, in the past we have, we're accomplishing so much and we have great plans for the future, we should be so proud of the path that we're on and the impacts we're making in the communities we serve.